and good morning everyone and welcome back to a new travel vlog from Hayupo in the Andes mountains. I am so happy to be here. It's always been a dream of mine to visit Peru and to kind of submerge myself in an atmosphere with the Andes mountains surrounding myself. So this morning we drove from Cusco. We drove about one hour to get here and we found ourselves alone on the lake this morning which was absolutely a blast so to kick this vlog off i want to start off by saying that this vlog is brought to you by insta 360 i partnered up with insta 360 this action cam that just magically attaches to my chest right here and together we are going to explore peru for the next two weeks we are going to go explore the Andes Mountains, Cusco, we're going to go on a train ride and we're going to go to the famous Machu Picchu. So I'm pretty excited to be working with Insta360 on this partnership and by the end of this video you guys will know everything that this little beast can do. Okay so the plan for today is to bring some stand-up paddle boards, paddle out there and get some cool footage Then later on we're going to have lunch here at the premises before jumping on to four-wheelers, quads, we're gonna drive through the forest and explore another lake. This is gonna be an adventure-packed vlog. I am really excited for it. at the lake of it. Wow. <laughs> the sun just went down so we're sitting here on this pier enjoying our time. It's it gets a lot chilly man when the sun goes down. It's crazy but the light is beautiful and I was able to to get the shots that I wanted so I'm really really happy. Yeah and it's been fun. Quads are really humpy and it's hard to really get capture it in a cool way but you know when I can have the action cam right here I can have my hands free so that was very very convenient it's been a really great first day here exploring the parts around Cusco and I can't wait to see what more that we have in store it's so cold it's cold yes <laughs> all right I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, Guys, good morning from Chinchero. We are currently checking out this indigenous local area of Urpi. Here we're gonna get to look at stuff like this, where you guys can see guinea pigs. These guys are so cute. And a little fun fact, some people actually eat these as well. It's how the indigenous people live here at the entrance of the Secret Valley. We are now learning about the full that. process of weaving, how the traditional now women are doing it. The For finish, the table runner includes a border. After she making the border is finally worked. This is what happens when you enter these places. You end up with a really nice sweater. Yeah. Just make sure to ask around because they have so many different types. And I was able to find one that I think was really nice. It's cool. You get to learn the process of how they do it from the very bottom all the way to the finished product. And then you get the chance to also pick up one for yourself. Okay guys, so here's one of the reasons why I love the Insta360. You see how small it is? It vibrates when you open it, so you know it's working. You push one button and you're good to record. And because it's so tiny and small, I love to just like put it in between things and just and play with the sun and items and try to like 
really get in there for a cool shot. is the Morai food terraces and this was a genius concept that the Incas thought of where they would change the altitude of the potato. As the Incas were conquering more and more territories in Peru they needed ways to make their food especially the potato adapt to the climates that they were going to and so here by planting a potato at the top and the seeds that come from that potato you plant it on the second step third step fourth step and fifth step by the time that potato is made all the way down to the bottom that potato has adapted to a sometimes 10 degrees change so that's how they were able to almost like genetically engineer their potatoes so they could bring their food with them as they were moving to lower land countries especially down the coast of peru to me the incas they're so smart it is crazy how smart they were so here you guys can see one of the biggest food terraces here is this not the biggest one? No. Oh my god! It's so I nice. thought this was the biggest one! <laughs> oh. Okay guys, so apparently this is not the biggest one. This is the medium one. Okay guys, I'm now gonna go and see the biggest food terrace here. <laughs> what? It's so perfect too. Wow. You guys are watching this from home and you're thinking well did it really work what they did here well the answer to that is yes if you go to peru today there are three thousand different kinds of potatoes it's actually a funny story from our guide here paul he told me you told me yesterday when your mom told you when you were a kid to go to the store and buy potatoes yeah i remember always when she says let's go to the market for to buy potato i went i bought a potato and when i was in my house my mom said no this is not a potato. <laughs> Come on, it's potato. <laughs> All the potatoes are safe. But no, in Peru, you have the potato for the different dishes that you want to eat. Mm. You see, every different dish requires a certain potato. And when you're a kid and your mom tells you to go buy potatoes, it's easy to make a mistake. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> have now made it to Pisac. This is a city on top of a mountain. And we're now gonna go over to the edge to get a first look. Oh my God. Wow. And good morning, everyone. It's a new day. We are now currently sitting here at the train station waiting for our train to Machu Picchu. Today, we're gonna try the train Irán Benja. Irán So going to Machu Picchu, there are two different types of trains. We're going to test today the most luxurious one called the Irán Benja. This train can range tickets from $400 to $800 per person, depending on season. It's a luxury train, and we're very, very excited to jump on there. There's going to be uh, food, music, and drinks on board. Come along. at the final stop of the train we are currently in Aguas Caliente this is a super cute town nested in between big giant mountains 
Today we're gonna go out and explore the city, but tomorrow we are gonna jump on a bus and drive 30 minutes up the mountains to the sacred location of Machu Picchu. And good morning guys, this morning we took a 30 minute bus ride up to the top of Machu Picchu. We currently sit here at Belmont Sanctuary Lodge. This is a hotel and a restaurant located right by Machu Picchu. So Machu Picchu's entrance is right behind us here. But we don't have entrance until 2 p.m. So that's why we're having a lunch here. I'm excited for your action. It's also a different um, type of like adventure for me. This one is going to be a couple adventure. I did a solo one. So um, yeah, the difference is we'll find out soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. So if you guys didn't know, Ava did a solo trip here to Machu Picchu in 2019. And this is our first time here as a couple. I have the Insta360 with me today. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to bring in the selfie stick because selfie sticks are not allowed. Nevertheless, it is really tiny and small, so I will try. Ooh, guys, we made it to Machu Picchu. We're walking around exploring the whole area pretty crazy mm -hmm. this place was built over 500 years ago there were thousand Incas living down there we're walking around exploring the whole town profound place to be like you know as a travel video blogger this is kind of one of the places you just dream about visiting and we're here together I'm so happy me too <laughs> guys there are so many different staircases and caves and houses to explore here I am baffled how they built this on top of a mountain. Hey guys, it is history time. We are now sitting on the lawn overlooking Machu Picchu this way. And our guide Ronnie over here. What are you gonna do now? Now I'm gonna tell you about the history. Right, I'm, I'm gonna teach you the history about Machu Picchu, everything about this book, about this beautiful place here around us. Welcome. Yeah, so if you guys are coming to Machu Picchu, ask for Ronnie. This is the second time that he is Ava's guide. Yes. And he's really good and he knows how to take the photos. Yeah. I just have to say, you look so good, girl. Ah, oh, thank you, you too. <laughs> okay, so after having the best classroom experience ever with the best view you can possibly imagine, we're gonna go down and explore the city now. It is such a big dream of mine to stand here. You know, you see it in the photos, but when you're here in real life, it is so much more profound, like it hits you differently. And I'm surprisingly amazed by it, how easy it is to walk around and take photos and how, how nice it is. So I hope you guys got inspired to visit this place. I'm ticking off a huge bucket list in my life. I'm so happy that I get to bring all you guys along and shoot amazing content. At least I believe it's amazing content. Comment below if you think the same. <laughs> and here you guys see Ron and Ava in action, getting some Instagram shots. Okay guys, we have now walked through the gate into the urban center or the city of Machu Picchu. And our guide now, Ron, is gonna take us around, explore the different architecture styles. City. This is where they used to have all their important festivals back in the days. Today you're not allowed to walk there, but they kept it perfectly clean. It would be nice to have a picnic there. All right.
our guide just told us that the best time to visit Machu Picchu is the ticket that makes you enter at 2 p.m. Yes. Then the sun is on this side of the mountain and that's much more beautiful than in the morning. And you can sleep in too. Hi guys! How are you? Hey. <laughs> Greetings! We're having so much fun! <laughs> it is so cool this I'm place. gonna make you a like. Yeah! <laughs> Here we go guys, like Hi the video. Guys. Welcome to my house. Wow! I mean there's no appliances or whatever but you know it's a UNESCO there. World Heritage. <laughs> hey guys, our tour of Machu Picchu, a once in a lifetime experience, is coming to an end. We're walking towards the exit right now. I think we've been here for three hours. Yeah, we've been walking around for three hours, learning everything about agricultural, riding, their civilization, the daily lives, culture, religion. Very interesting. Such a cool place and I really hope that some of you guys get to go visit. A lot of people have been asking, how were they able to get water up to Machu Picchu? And I've learned today that they actually built this city on top of some springs. So you guys, you can see there are natural springs with water right here. And that's how they were able to drink water and they didn't have to go down to the valley every time. 